What's funny about some of the headlines that you read on the various stories that have been done about that, the headline will even say, right-wing Christian talk show host disowns daughter. And then you read the article, and the article didn't even say that. <laughs> but because it actually has what my wife and I said, and it actually has the the correct commentary on it. But the, those kind of titles. So to this woman's defense, she may have read that and thought it was true. But but I appreciate you clarifying that 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 is not true. Um, uh, there has been no one disowned, or there has been no, and it never has been uh, in any way, shape, or form. It's really no more complicated, but also no less hurtful and no less painful that we have uh, reached a road with an adult uh, daughter uh, that has made uh, a decision that she uh, disagrees uh, with what we uh, know that the Bible says and has, has bought into a false narrative. And uh, matter of fact, if you read the, it's only one page, read the book of Jude, you'll see that God talks, uh, talks about this through Jude, uh, uh, saying, hey, look, and, and, and it's right there before the revelation, you're going to have these false teachers and these false prophets, and they've slipped into the church, and they're talking about this, and it, it takes on even this particular topic of, of sexuality. And uh, so the, the clarification is this. It's no more complicated than uh, we disagree uh, with our daughter. She disagrees with us. She's an adult. She does not live in our home. She pays her own bills. And uh, we have debated and we have argued, and we just don't think that that really is uh, effective going forward, what needs to be said has been said. And then, as you correctly said, Mike, we said that on the air, we've taken the role of the prodigal father that is also an analogy of God's relationship with all of us who need to repent. But it's also an example of what you do as a parent if you're in this situation because we know the prodigal says when he came to himself, which is our prayer for our daughter, I have sinned against heaven and I've sinned against my father or my family. And and when when if she do, needs help for us in any way, shape, or form, now we're not going to, help her in any way with her wants uh, because that would be endorsing the way she's living. But if she has a true need and at any time she, she knows she could call on us and, and we would be there. And if she desires to, to reach his repentance and, and wants to come top that hill like the prodigal son, she didn't even got to come a long way. We'll run to her and we love her enough, not disown, but love her enough that we will not condone and pat her on the back and confirm something that we think is detrimental to her eternity or in detrimental to other people. Uh, you know, it, we don't live under rules in our house that we follow Jesus unless it's inconvenient. Uh, we, we, that's just not, that's not what the Bible says, and nor is it who God has made us. It's not who we are. Who we are, we'd probably run over and say, oh, well, it's not, we want to have a relationship with you and whatever we need to do, you just do. But that's not love. Uh, that's, uh, that's making your children out to be an idol. And, and if your children try to make a version of God that, is their own, then that also is idolatry, and we love her enough to say that, and we love her enough to know. But any of these uh, false narratives that somehow, like I said, if I have disowned and shunned my daughter, I'm not very good at it uh, because if you look back, she's eating chocolate biscuits with us on Christmas morning, and we've known about this since last August. Mm-hmm. So uh, that's just not uh, – that that has been dramatized by everybody involved who's played that narrative. Now, do we disagree with her? and refuse to agree with her, and now that's absolutely true. Mm-hmm. Did we tell her that? Absolutely. Did we tell her <laughs> that if, if we've got to, you know, come, if we're going to come visit you, all this has to be endorsed, you know, and she didn't want us to come, we won't go. Uh, if she says, I'm coming home, but I'm bringing this into your home, and, and if you want to see me, you've got to uh, condone this and, and, and allow this, then, then that's not allowed. But to say disowned or yeah. shunned or whatever, that's just a false yeah, narrative. Really and it, facts and it makes the story – more cartoonish, yeah, and it and it completes a better, you know, because what they want me to be and us to be here on the show, but me as her father, they want me to be the bubble thumping, and I'll tell you about the sodomites and the homosexuals, <laughs> and they're gonna go to hell, and, and they want me to be that guy, <laughs> yeah, but that that makes the cartoon better. I'm the I'm the pastor in Footloose that won't let people dance, right. uh, yeah, but but yeah. but but that's so good, but, Rick. But, but but what it re- but what it really is is I'm a follower of Jesus Christ who's a father who has a prodigal child. Mm. That's what it is. Yep. That's the truth.